Welcome! Today we will talk a little more about the Sum app and how you can import accounts. It's quite simple, so uh, you can manage all your, so you can see all your accounts if you click on the switch account part, there you can see all the accounts you have. And you can click on the add account in order to add a new account. So either you can create a new account and then it just goes through the same steps, so getting new numbers, matrix, or you can also import one of your existing accounts. For example, if you have a Atomic Wallet or also Exodus or any other wallet, you can import uh, that account into SUM. When importing an account, you've got two choices. Either you can set up full access so you can see that you can sign transactions or read only. For the read only part, you don't even have to be the owner of the account. You can enter any address you'd like to. So for if you go to read only, you can enter the address of any stranger more or less or of any other of your accounts you don't want to have uh, signing access to, for example. Let's just go to one of the last validated ledgers and if you just take, for example, one user here and I could just take that and just import it here. So if I import that, then I'm just going to continue here on uh, whatever test. And the thing here is that I can see the balance on this account. I can also look through the history. That's because it's a public ledger, as you know. And I can, but I can only read it. So I can't sign transactions. I can't whatever send myself lots of XRP. It doesn't work. But you can look over it. So then I can switch between accounts. I can go to my dev account, or I could also um, go to this test account here. And if you don't want it anymore, you can just go again to the accounts and remove that read-only account. And yeah, remove it. That's also quite simple here. And also one thing to highlight here, you can also upgrade the access. So first you can have it on read only, but then you can also change it to read read access. So you can see also if it's at first read only access, then afterwards test two, okay. And afterwards you can go to accounts. And again on test two, you can click on edit, and then you can go to the access level and then change it to full access. If you want full access, obviously you need the private key. And then you have to either, either give enter the secret numbers, the family seed, or the mnemonic. And the mnemonic is the default the default value just being generated if you use an atomic wallet, an Exodus wallet, or most, let's say most uh, wallets give you, so most wallets which offer multiple assets give you a seed phrase. And this seed phrase you can also import there. So you can also enter the account address and then via seed phrase you can also um, then use it for signing. And yeah, that's how all of it works. So, right, so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.